Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Unfortunately, technical issues do occur, things go wrong, but what will always go right is the action we have here for you tonight. The Saints are six against West Virginia University's five, and the action is only picking up from here. Saints one HP. Are, oh, one HP Seth finds a headshot. Extremely unnecessary considering he only had one, but you can never kill someone too hard. Taze finds Seth sitting on heaven, takes him down now, Caillou. Creeping around, Smiley bravely standing on the point, but it might not work on his favor. And in the midst of all that action, a lot of corpses go down, and it's just a 2v1 with St. Clair College's favor. And it's going to be the knives on the side of Dings. He only has 30 HP, so one more bullet should be able to do. It's going to peek out with the Vandal, but the Silver Drone will spot him out. Let's see if the wall bangs come through from the Saints members. Yep, there it is. Giza's going to find his third. And that's going to be the first half going over Send 5 towards the side of the Saints. West Virginia making this game very, very close and competitive, but it's going to be a switch of sides. Let's see how well the Saints can do on the defense. And you know what? I think it is very fitting that, you know, after the second goal difficulties, we come back and we're in the second half of the game, you know? Yeah. It's like it's like we never left. Um, Saints, we left with Saints winning a pistol round. We're going to come back. It's another pistol round. And we're going to get to kind of get a fresh start. So let's see how things are going to go from here with 20 seconds left on the clock. Both teams have a whole half under their belt of momentum going their way. Strategies being picked up on, things being adapted to, and we're going to get to enjoy every bit of this intense match as we continue on from here. St. Clair College versus West Virginia University. Saints are looking to be in the favor at the moment, again, with seven points against West Virginia, just five, but it's still anybody's game. Yeah, anybody's game, and it's going to be an A push coming out here from the side of West Virginia. Saints are four stacking B, and they're quickly rushing over to this A side to make sure they can help out their boy Giza. They're on the side. The push is going to be coming through from West Virginia very, very quickly, and they're on the side, but Giza's going to find one, going to find a second. Smiley finds a third. Boltsy gets a couple, but the trades are coming through from the Saints. The Instinct's able to find one as well, and it's going to be the push here coming out from the Saints. 3v1 situation. Seth will be able to find the final kill there as St. Clair. College are going to win yet another pistol round and put themselves ahead 8-5 now. We didn't get to see much after this point last time we saw the Saints win the first round, but things probably didn't go too well considering it's, it was only a 7-5 game and they won the pistol round. Expect them to have a bit of a bigger lead. Let's see if they can grow that one in the second half. For sure, but now all the speculation, that nice, nice moment of thinking we had earlier on, it's going to be vindicated here. We're going to see if our thoughts were correct and maybe we're going to see um, the teams making the adaptations that we think they needed to make here, how they're going to play off of losing the pistol round and we're gonna see if they're gonna be able to adapt. Smiley coming out of this little escape hole here. I believe he has his teammate with him. Instinct now creeping through. Giza is on that porch there. Caillou finds a kill into Jay Chronic with the Sheriff. Giza takes down Inox, looking for Taze as well. Bolsey finds oh. and kills Seth and Dinks. Looks like their eco round is going their way. The Saints are losing two already, trading in fact. West Virginia University down two as well. But if you're down two and you're St. Clair College right now, it hurts a lot more than if you're West Virginia University since they just won the pistol round. Instinct with a rifle in hand, by all accounts, should be winning this uh, fight that he's about to engage in. But West Virginia Kai. University has shown that they can take these engagements still. Well, Kai is going to find one in the Ooh. spawn. Will be able to take down both. And the flanks coming through here with the Guardian. Spy is going to pick up one. And Kai with his third of the rounds going to pick that one up for the Saints. Saints going to win the first two rounds in the second half. And they're off to a great start here. But now we're going to see a full buy from West Virginia. I'm assuming they won a couple really good rounds in the last half considering they were able to win five rounds. Let's see how they can do with the Rifle Saints. If they can slow them down and win this round, should be looking to close the map out. But West Virginia definitely proving that they are up for the battle. Yeah, seeing some uh, rifles here on the side of West Virginia oh, University. They are better armed this round, but hopefully they're going to be able to turn that into a victory because, again, they have shown that even when outgunned, they are still forces to be reckoned with. But the Saints are still able to weather that storm. But Taze around the corner waiting for the Saints, taking down two instincts. Finally going to put him down, but it's still anybody is round as West Virginia University finds their way onto A pretty convincingly and they're going to be gunning down Giza, shooting him through the box, forcing him out of his cover to defend himself and taking him down ultimately. Trying to take down the door. Instinct is going to rotate now over on the other side. Seth as well. Every entry point is being watched 
locked down. He's gonna have to use a drone to see what he can find, but everything is smoked up and blinded thanks to the perfect util on the side of West Virginia University. But now it's a 2v3, Seth finds Ionox, but Jay Chronic finds Instinct creeping out on Heaven. Seth can still take this through. He's using the smoke, goes through. Can he find Jay Chronic in that doorway? No, but they find him a lot, taking a lot of damage. Seth is gonna eventually go down. Yep, that's gonna be uh, the round going over to West Virginia University. The fact that they were able to have one member in a 1v3 situation get a couple frags early on into the round was definitely a great start to the round for them. And then they just rushed into that A site, were able to take that one with relative ease and a great round win as expected for them. But now this is going to be the more most important round this second half. You're going to see Caillou pick up an AWP. is going to go for that Judge. Smiley with the Vandal Instinct with the Odin probably on that B site. And it's going to be Seth with the Phantom. Let's see how the round starts off here. Instinct's going to look for a dart on that Sova pretty early on. Let's see if he can get the wall bangs with Odin. It's going to be a full on <laughs> B push coming out here for the side of West Virginia. You can see Inkstein doesn't spot anyone or anyone out with that Sova dart. So maybe doesn't have the rotate. biggest idea that they're here. But it looks like the side of West Virginia University want to push into this B side and maybe force their way on here. But Inkstein sitting here with, the, with this Odin could find a lot of damage. The flash is going to come out. All the Uto coming out from West Virginia. Let's see how the same side did play this Beautiful. one. He's going to find one. Beautiful. Finds the second. We'll look for the third, but Jay Cronin is going to be able to pick that one up. But into the site go West Virginia. They're going to look to get the plant. The spike gets picked up. Taze on the roam. We'll be able to find one, but does go down to Kayo. 3v2 situation for the Saints. There's a huge 1v1 right here, and Seb's going to be able to find Dinx. It's going to be a 1v3 situation now for Jay Cronin and Saints. Just need to play this one together. They have the operator. Kayo's just going to fly in there and will go down. But Seth will pick him up. Let's see if he's able to get that off hitter back for Caillou. But St. Clair going to be able to take their 10th round and getting very, very close to this first match point. Very clean. I mean, you keep talking about these Odin wall bangs, but there's no point in Odin wall bangs when you can just bang them directly with the Odin. Just shoot them straight through as they come through that door. Instinct just making a very strong showing. Seth now carrying the torch with the Odin. The legacy lives on as we head into this next round. That was a, a great round from Sinclair off the back of Instinct's great play there on the Sova. Just took, taking down a couple members really early on, stopped them from getting that spike onto the side of the plant. Just could not go down. It's going to be another full buy for the side of West Virginia, but as I say that, they have a Bulldog and a... Uh, What's that one called again? How did I forget already? Don't look at me. The Stinger, that's the one. That's what it's <laughs> called. It's going to be the KO with the Stinger. Uh, so let's see. It's going to be a force here from West Virginia. If they lose right this here. one, it's going to be very, very rough to come back to that one. But it's going to be a slow uh, A push. As Saints aren't really pushing too much of themselves, just waiting for West Virginia to make a mistake. Now, they're going to be playing this slow this time, and I really like that because it seems they were going a little bit too hard and heavy with their initial pushes yeah. on the attack side, but I like that they're considering things a little bit better here, seeing if they can find any clean pickoffs before they commit to our kind of thing. But he's going to teleport on the other side, so they're not going to lose every Giza oh, finding Giza finds two couple. already. Giza finding Three. now oh. almost his third, oh, Caillou, though. but Caillou picks up his slack with the op shot, and now just creeping through. Oh, the smoke goes up. He actually could have taken down Caillou. If not for that, looking for the sick flick. Trying to get a nice clip for us. Not going to go his way, however. Smiley and Giza are going to wrap up the round. It's now 6-11 for the Saints. They just need two more to win the game. And if you look at the economy of West Virginia University and the Saints, uh, I think it's probably going to be a lot more Saints favored. Yeah. Yeah, I see the credits. Uh, I mean, this is, yeah, this is not... They're not going to be able to do too much more than yeah. just buying sheriffs uh, and just hoping that they can find some more pickoffs. Again, it's a pseudo eco round for them. They're going to pick up a marshal as well, but the Saints are still fully armed. Caillou with a shotgun, probably going to go for some dash plays and see if he can get any clean pickoffs to start off the round. In fact, he's already creeping through mid, as you can see on the mini map, but he's going to be rotating now to get behind West Virginia as they're pushing onto A site. But they have no idea that there's a Caillou dashing through. Dashing in, though, is West Virginia's jet spraying each other down through the smoke. Two of them are going to get behind and take down the Saints, but 
Giza finding a 3k and Caillou with the knife to the head for Taze is going to wrap up the round very, very abruptly. And the Saints are already on the match point after that. I'm surprised Caillou used the knives there. Maybe a bit overkill, but great rounder from the Saints. Seth buying just so much time on that site allows the rest of his team to rotate over and pick up the easy kills. Considering it West Virginia were on a bit of a really soft buy, they did try and make a play there. Onto that A site. They were able to find the entry pick as well, but just could not do much more after that. And as you said, Saints put themselves on map points. The Giza and Seth have their ultimates on the other side. Boltsy and Taze have their ultimates. It's going to be a default push coming out from West Virginia. Not something we've seen so far, but Caillou is somehow in the spawn. He's going to look for one early. Will find one. Does get traded out, but Smiley finding a couple. Going to look for that third. The Odin pick from J. Kron is going to pick up one. Boltsy is going to pick up one. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Giza is ending up in the spawn as he's going to go down. It's and what we see from the Saints is them getting a bit too aggressive. It's almost like they do it every single time. They love going for those kills. Let's see if Seth can find a 1v1 pick here onto the Soba. Yes, the Soba has literally no idea that he's here. And Seth, oh, as soon as the smoke drops, both of them. them! And the clutch comes through as Saints take the first map, 13-6. That could not have gone better for him, I don't think. And that's not even luck. The way he uses his ultimate there to scout for information, use that to his knowledge, get behind them, wait for that smoke to dissipate. Didn't go for anything crazy, didn't start trying to get a cheeky spray kill. He just waited and he found what he was looking for. Patience is a virtue after all. And that was a virtuous victory for the Saints, taking it to be what, 16 to 13, 13 six, 6 to 13, right? Yeah, 6 to 13. Absolutely. Uh, and that's gonna be wrapping up our first game. And I'm already very excited to see what the second one has in store for us. I mean, my predictions are looking good so far. I said, <laughs> what, 13, 6, 13, 5. Saints, first half, 7, 5. So West Virginia having a very, very strong first half, but in the second half, we saw a couple members of the Saints really turn it up a notch and find some big, big plays. Giza top fragging on the Killjoy, followed by Caillou on the jet. Uh, then you can see Jay Chronic, Taze, Boltsy, all having pretty good games for themselves, but just could not do enough to take those extra rounds off St. Clair. And they're going to be pretty happy with that. Uh, second half performance, but definitely going to look to tweak a few things uh, because something definitely went wrong in that first half. And I feel like this this scoreboard is a good illustration of something that I keep in my mind for sure, but scoreboards aren't the whole story, okay? No. We saw Seth there at second bottom of the scoreboard, but we also saw how he literally just won the Saints game. So, you don't want to take the scoreboard as gospel. You want to make sure you get all the finer details because I, feel, I believe everybody in that game played a critical role in the success of their respective teams. But that's just game one. Get Getting ready is game two, and before we potentially throw it to a quick break, again, I want to ask, probably one of my favorite questions again, is there anything specific you're looking forward to seeing this next one? I don't remember well, what maps we're going to be going to next, but any... Just again, your favorite thing, the Odin Wall Bang. <laughs> Do you want to see that well, on this next lap? We through? didn't. Uh, we didn't see too much of the first half, but it was a mm -hmm. very, very close game. I want to see Saints maybe just, uh, maybe. Uh, I hope it's a map with three bomb sites and Saints have attack first. And if they do, I just want to see them really play aggressively. Just pick a site they want to go for and put uh, their pedal to the metal. Oh, uh, yeah. When they play like that, they're virtually unstoppable. They have the mechanics and the uh, preset plays for each bomb site <laughs> just planned out so, so well. So if they can really just play without real any cockiness, but... Uh, confidence I would want to say and just mm -hmm. push those sites would be a would be a great way for them to start the second map yeah I think so I feel like if the Saints can kind of just forget how convincingly they won the first game but don't lose momentum still they don't want to let the momentum is, is a huge yeah. boon and it could also be your downfall you know momentum can take you somewhere very fast but it could also send you flying off of a cliff you don't want to let it control you you want to use momentum to your advantage to get you to where you want to go fast and safely <laughs> more uh, more importantly right you want to get there safely. So I think the Saints just need to continue to play in the way that they know works for their play style, works for their strategies, but they don't want to get too carried away. Without a doubt. And with all that being said, we're going to throw it over to a, a very, very quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the second map.
welcome back everybody we are headed into map to st Clair saints we're able to take the first map 13 seconds and it's going to be split here coming out for them saints mm -hmm. have the lineup of omen raise breach Cypher and KO and on the other side West uh, Virginia University are coming out with a raise breach sky Viper and Astra a bit of different team comps here Astra a Not bit. something you see too often, but maybe West Virginia have something up their sleeves to bring this to a map three I feel like the vision games that that agent can play are very valuable uh, for any team that knows how to use it. So I think that West Virginia University feels confident in their ability to kind of take control over the map and bring things to, you know, a comfortable spot. They want to be able to play their game, and I feel like Astra would be very would go a long way to making them feel comfortable doing that. And I can see the logic behind it. On the other hand, though, the Saints, I feel like they're sticking to a little bit more of the same. A couple differences on. On their side, I think the breach would have been a jet on the previous comp. Can't remember exactly, but in any case, I still feel like the the fact that even their comp is different, I feel like they're going to be playing relatively the same in that they just want to be playing super, super dominantly over their opponents. And it's going to be Inksting back on that duelist role. It's going to be playing that raise, which is so, so good on this map. It's going to be a default push in round one coming out from West Virginia. They are on the attack. Saints are on the defense. And it might be a slow A push here for the side of West Virginia. Nobody really there from the side of the Saints other than the Cypher. And the push is coming through. Let's see how the Saints side play this one. Giza in a very, very dangerous position the spot one out through that one-way smoke is gonna pick him up oh. if able to stay with his life so so crucial here the swing comes through finds Beautiful. a flick onto the second does get flashed out only one hp on that astro if anyone can walk into that smoke and pick it oh. up with the huge instinct finding the third pick of the round there spike is down and now west virginia in a world of trouble let's see how the saints decide to clean this one up jay chronic gonna go for a peek there with the stun but nobody is stunned open saints are pushing full steam ahead oh instant's gonna God. find one kai picks up wow. the seconds the trades do come through but it does not matter in the end St. Clair winning yet another pistol round. Maybe this is just like selection bias but I feel like every pickoff we saw the Saints getting there were just so clean so they, sh they should not have won them but they did. except for that one way obviously they're gonna win that one way but every every kill after that was just so scrappy and I, I think that it goes to show that in these hesitating scary moments the Saints can kind of pull themselves together and get the kill that they need to get but again Saints kind of living against their stereotype here. They're winning every pistol round in this series so far. Yep. Hopefully they'll be able to take it through with the potentially last pistol Shoot. of the series. <laughs> Shoot! Come on, man! Why no one tell them that they were there? <laughs> <laughs> we should have told them. We should have <laughs> screamed loud enough. <laughs> screamed loud enough that they can hear us in the nest. That'd be crazy. That'd be, that we would have to be pretty damn loud, but <laughs> I could do it. I mean, I could maybe do it, but I don't want to try. <laughs> I do. The but push I'm not. is going to come through from the side of West Virginia. Inkstein's going to be able to pick up one. He's going to have his back covered. The second does go down. Caillou finding the third. Seth finding the fourth. And it's going to be all up to one member in the 1v5. Flawless round for St. Clair as Caillou finds that one. Beautiful round from them as they get the snowball going early. This third round is going to be so, so crucial. But the fact that the Saints were able to get a flawless means they get to keep all the weapons they bought from last round. And it's going to be maybe on Instinct with that Vandal to find a few picks. Now he's going to be giving that one up, actually, and going to purchase another Vandal for himself. As Saints have a couple good weapon buys, have a Stinger there on Smiley and a Guardian and a Bulldog here and there, but it's going to be a crucial round here for West Virginia if they want to get back into this game. Yeah, and again, the way that the Saints are kind of taking this forward. And just for the record, that is what a round is supposed to look like when you win the pistol round. Yeah. Uh, you know, getting a flawless. The Saints kind of not exactly living up to that in those previous rounds after their pistol victories. But that one really could not have gone better for them, not losing a single uh, player on their side. But now they are opting to play, again, a little bit more carefully, a little bit more deliberate, and they're just waiting for <laughs> their all five man while well, leaving Thompson's one behind, up. waiting to see if anyone's going to dare to show their face mid. And Viper with a nice little fake here, but Saints are not going to fall for it. They're all going to push out mid, and that nade from the breach is going to be massive. One fall, second oh falls, Lord. the third up mid is going to find one Boatsy with a great shot there. Flash <laughs> comes through, but Kai playing a bit too aggressively there. does go down, which makes this a 3v3 situation. Spike is still down in mid. Let's see if Inkstein goes for the swing here. Would be a very, very dangerous one at that. Taze on this Viper has been sitting in this corner for the past like 40 seconds but he's gonna push through now finally Giza is sitting here making sure that nobody passes through 
as it's going to be an A push coming out from the side of West Virginia. Saints only have a couple members on the defense here. Let's see if the pick's going to come through for Mixing. Does pick it up. Makes it a 3v2 situation and a 2v2 fight on this A side for the time being. Let's see how quickly West Virginia decided to push through. Giza is going to be able to find a couple tabs with that Guardian. And now Saints are looking to blow the lead wide open. They take it 3-0. They pick up all the Vandals. And they're going to be feeling very, very good about themselves after that one. Yeah, 3-0. Could you ask for anything more than that? If you could, you'd be very unreasonable because you literally cannot have a better score line this far into the game. 3-0 against your opponents. You have all the momentum in the world riding on your back, and the way you're playing seems to just be working. Even when you're the Saints right now, you really don't have to make adjustments. Again, it's on West Virginia to kind of innovate. The Saints just have to recognize the innovation and play around it the way that they know to, and they're doing a very good job of that so far. Caillou getting picked off in that mid at the start of the last round. I can't even really blame him for that, because that's such an unorthodox position for someone to be in, so it's going to catch him there, but I knock Got to find Giza with a perfectly placed sheriff shot. That is not easy to do. <laughs> it looked easy for him, but I, I guarantee you uh, some adrenaline's flowing after that one if you're getting a shot that good. At least it should be. Seth now just keeping guard of B. Well, it looks like West Virginia University is trying to make a rotation through mid up over to A, and they might enter a confrontation soon with Instinct if things go the way they are right now. Oh, throw a nade in there. Yeah, I think that's a molly there going to force them to hold back just a little bit, but the pressure is eventually going to get released, but he finds one now, oh, almost gets no. two, but Instinct is going to get taken down by his doppelganger on Dinks on the enemy side, and they're going to have full control over now, dropping down Caillou in a gunfight with one, doing a bit of damage, but oh ultimately is going to fall down to Dinks yet again. Another headshot for the enemy Rays, going to be taking over the site now, Spike is heading on over. They're going to get the plant, and the Saints are going to have to try to find a way to breach this ironclad defense from the side of West Virginia. Spike. Smiley has to know that there's one to his left here. I don't think he has any idea, and he will fall down. It's going to be on the set on this one, two, three to clutch up for the Saints. West Virginia playing this round so perfectly so far, but Seth could be a clutch yet again. There's one directly to his left. Does he have any idea? Won't be able to pick it up there. The swing might come through from the Viper, but the Rays and the Viper using that Utos also while the smoke comes out as the swing's going to come through. Oh. It's going to pick up one, but Taze finds the trade, and it's going to be a thrifty round going over to West Virginia University. Just kind of played as five, found those one-for-one -one trades, picked up the weapons, and then found the kills when they needed to. Maybe that's the spark they need to come back into this game. Saints should still be able to go on the full but but this gives West Virginia an opportunity to maybe buy up as well. Yeah, and around any round, if you're getting currently perfected, is a nice re-energizer. It kind of reminds you that you're still in the game, you still have a lot of fight left in you, gives your team some data to work with. We did this this round, it worked. How can we make that work for us in the next coming rounds? And just like that, Inox getting the first pick. That worked for them last round. Let's try it again. Can he find a third? No, Smiley's going to be able to put him down. Just going to get a flash out on his way back behind the point just for good measure. Thanks throwing out the nade, swinging, but Smiley's there to put him down. Just deterring the rest of the push from coming through. Flashes and peaks, but it's not going to find any heads there. Jake Chronic on the site, trying to make way for his team, but Smiley comes around the corner, takes him down. Three kills on Smiley instinct now just taking up Bailey and Smiley's still just holding this site down. Taze revealing their position there. Smiley and instinct looking ready to swing one after the other potentially, but they're just going to play patiently for now. Smiley doing God's work so far this round. <laughs> able to find oh, flash three. Is ready. Flash is ready. No, that's the stun is oh, ready. It's right. going to come through there and the stun Beautiful. comes through perfectly. Four. Smiley, this fourth of the round, definitely putting the team on the back on that one. Single-handedly just able to hold down that side even after a couple people dropped. Found the sky and then the rest dropped like flies. That's a huge round for the side of the Saints, you know, no momentum for West Virginia to build off of after getting that thrifty round. And now Saints are definitely going to look to run away with this one. They're up 4-1. They have the full buys, and I think West Virginia have another kind of save buy with a couple members that are going to be buying some Vandals. Right. Um, and while they have a couple of Vandals, their Sheriffs are going to be the rest of their team. Sheriff and a Classics is going to be the, all the uh, arsenal they're going to be wielding here. But they do have Ultimates on their side. Uh, I don't think they're going to be looking to use it because, again, they're not really... Sorry, it was Boltsy. Uh, yeah, they're not really going to be looking to use it since they don't really have any guns to kind of make anything happen with it. It's going to be looking three. for pickoffs, but they're not going to find it. His Instinct's already taking down three of West Virginia's squad as they pull through and try to find any open gaps in the Saints' defense. But but those gaps are quickly filled by instinct, but they're gonna at least find the plant. That's some extra money. You'll take it, you'll work with it. 
Uh, they're gonna find the head almost, Taze. Or, uh, Inox is gonna just barely survive that. Smiley coming on the corner after the flash takes him down and gonna get the defuse around for the Saints to be expected. Uh, West Virginia was working with leftover weapons and some, you know, scraps that they could afford. They are gonna take one Saint down, however, but the Saints are looking pretty well off to be able to make this not matter too much. Looking very, very good so far. Now five rounds for them. It's gonna be a full buy coming out from, from West Virginia. And if they lose this one, will be a couple more rounds going Most over likely. to St. Clair. So uh, let's see how the ultimates are used. I think West Virginia need to use their ultimates this round. They need to be first to pop those ultimates and they can't really react to the Saints as they are on attack. They need to pull the trigger somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm expecting at least an Astro ult to come out this round. Maybe a Sky ult as well to get yeah. some information. But Saints are ready to bounce back. They have that breach ultimate. It's going to be a default play from West Virginia. So they won't be rushing a site like they have so many times before. But Saints are holding their ground very, very slowly as West Virginia is going to maybe to look to push up mid. I feel like this is, for West Virginia, this is one of those moments where all your team practices, your strategy meetings, all that is where it really pays off. You have your three ultimates to work with, you have to win this round, and you have very synergistic ultimates. Inox is going to be able to find Instinct, keeping their momentum, and hope for this round alive. So they're going to find the Flash on Smiley, but the ultimate is going to be committed. Oh, it's a big stun. The Seekers, the big stun, just like you said, Caillou is going to find two off of that. Smiley is going to find one of himself, and it's just one left for West Virginia after Seth takes down Taze trying to make their way over onto the point. Seth doing such a good job of shutting them down, and Jay Chronic is going to get put down by Smiley. Now, the point I was going to make, obviously, turned out not to be the case, unfortunately, <laughs> but I feel like, again, you have some synergistic ultimates on the side of West Virginia University. You have to use them perfectly if you want to have a chance of winning that round, uh, and you, you don't really have enough time. You have, like, what, 15, 30 seconds uh, during the buy phase to really come up with a strategy that's going to work? No. This is where all the pre-preparation for your match is going to come together to matter the most. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't go out in their favor there, but I feel like they definitely have the potential to make something magical happen. I mean, Smiley has just been doing insane work on this breach yeah, on the defense, getting sure. a couple stuns that round, a couple kills, just doing everything you would want, want your breach to do, and it's great play from so far. Instinct also having a great map on the raise, and they're leading their, t uh, the, their team to victory here, up 6-1 mm -hmm. now. West Virginia are definitely falling apart. They're gonna be on a save round here as well, so yeah, you're assuming yeah. this next round's gonna go over to the Saints, and Saints have just won that first round, won that second round. The only round they've lost is a thrifty, funny enough, but True. they're just <laughs> running away with this lead so far. I feel like they play at their best when they have nothing to lose. Oddly enough, you know, they, they are willing to get a little bit more risk taking, uh, a little bit more creative, and that's what you need to do against a team like the Saints, because again, right I I know they put in all that time and effort making those strategies, making right those there. plays ready. So they have solutions to basically everything you can think of. But if you're coming up with something on the spot, you're getting creative and you're kind of throwing caution to the wind. Right there. You can't prepare for that. No. <clears throat> and they're going to be having a bit of a half force buy here, but they're able to afford a next a gun's next round anyway. So I like the idea. They're going to buy up a couple stingers, and they're going to go up mid very very quickly. They're able to take a lot of a ground instinct though. He's going to try and kill this viper early oh. on, and is going for the chase. Will he be able to find wow. the kill? No. <laughs> Way too aggressive crazy. from oh Smiley and Instinct there. As they both go down as something that West Virginia drew up definitely worked. Maybe Saints just becoming too impatient, waiting those 60 seconds in the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> could have just switched something in there. I want blood, brain. I want blood. <laughs> exactly, you never know. It's very, very possible as that Viper, even though living on one HP, was able to find a couple crucial kills. But Saints do still have the weapon advantages. If they can just play this one very, very slow, should be able to find the picks. Giza's going to find one, but the push onto B is going to come through. The Cypher ult is going to come out as well. So now the Saints know exactly where everyone is. Seth's going to find a second. And if he can just get out of his life, it would be huge. Giza finding the third as Seth oh. and Giza are a two-man team here, taking down the rest <laughs> Of West Virginia, it's going to be all on to the sky. She God, you finally spike. got here. <laughs> God, you finally got there, but the rest of the team has done everything needed already. But it's not left. over yet. Inox, 1v3 situation, has a Ooh. stinger, finds a shot onto Caillou there, I believe. The dog won't be able to find anything. And now the Saints pushing oh, from oh, all three okay. members. Giza finding his fourth kill of the round. The St. Clair playing very, very well so far. Just 
even when they have the number disadvantage, able to find the uh, crucial picks there. And even mm -hmm. with two members, kind of just 2v5, holding the entire site, taking that one down and now taking a 7-1 lead. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, at the start of the round, we saw that Caillou uh, and I believe it was Smiley going down at the start. That is a moment where the momentum is controlling you. You're not controlling the momentum. They really got aggressive there, went you know, down for it. But again, I, 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 can, I, can, I can tell that they're pretty comfortable right now. Um, you know, not a lot of reason to be playing too scared on their side. But again, that's definitely oh, not what they're doing. But Instinct <laughs> trying to get all the way to the back line. Honestly, almost found something there. That would have been really something to behold. Um, but of course, he is going to go down for it. Boltsy and the rest of West Virginia are going to get flashed up in the mid, but they are going to return the favor in kind as they blind Caillou permanently, killing him in that middle spot. Inox finds the head of Seth, taking him down. It's just Giza left to hold these two points. They're going to be going for B here, but he's not going to know exactly where they're going to want to go. It's still a guessing game for him. But he is... Yep, the wire is going to be tripped, so I think he has an idea at least that they are on B side. Oh, finds the head of the Rays. Dink's going to go down. The dog is going to be peeking. He sees him in the doorway. All this, all that's keeping oh. him here is the smokes using him so well. These screens, he's going to he's gonna have to go back, but this is not going to last very long. He's going to throw out another smoke, but in between the gaps, he is going to get found and put down by Taze, and that's going to be a round for West Virginia, West Virginia University, and they needed this one badly. Yeah, they needed down badly. Inkstink I think the last couple of rounds has just been satcheling into the enemy team and just dying right away. Wow, Saints definitely getting a bit over overconfident these past few rounds. They were able to use their mechanics to win the last one, but this mm -hmm. time, Inox that was able to find those picks, and he's kind of been the playmaker for the side of West Virginia, I want to say, on that sky. He's been, every time he's gotten those frags has been the rounds that they won, so... They definitely have to play around Inox's picks a little bit more. Four ultimates still available for the side of West Virginia. It's going to be a rush onto this A site. The Astro ult's coming through. The Breach ultimate is coming through. She hits on a lot of members, but nobody's on Saya from side of West Virginia. Do we have any idea that the Giza is in that corner? The Ray's ult is coming out. Won't find Ooh. much. J Chronic, though, is going to pick up Seth early on. That's one pick. The trade is going to come through from Smiley. The Ray's ult comes out. Caillou is going to be able to pick up one. Pick up a second. Smiley finds one. Taze takes down Instinct. It's going to be up to J Chronic, who finds a couple picks. He's on 30 HP, a 1v1 between him and Caillou, but Caillou just needs to find one more bullet, and that should oh. do it. Oh. J Chronic will be able to pick that one up with his fourth kill of the round as West Virginia are making their way back into this game. I don't think they're making their way back. I think they've already found their way back. Economy-wise, they are getting to be on par with the Saints. Momentum-wise, absolutely. In even the alt economy, they are looking to be fairly even. They are more or less right on the same ground as the Saints except for a couple of economic disparities between some of the players. They are still in this game comfortably now. West Virginia University, they just have to find it in themselves to not let loose of this game again and find a way to put down the Saints momentum for sure. But as they're going to start the offense, they're going to have everybody, at least everywhere at one point, just scouting out, trying to find any information that they can to help make a better decision. But Dinks is going to go down. He tries satcheling his way in. The stun is going to force two Saints back. Inox coming up around. He's going to find Insig as he peeks back around the corner, but the flash is going to make it a little bit easier for him to take down Inox, surviving with two HP. Smiley looking for a little bit more revenge, but he's optimally going to have to stand back. The Seekers are coming out. They know that they're around the corner here. They see him. Going to have to take them down before they can reveal his position, but they do at least know where they have a, a general idea of knowing where they are. Going to get the tag. Giza knows exactly where they are as well and they're going to be able to communicate that, allow the Saints to play a little bit more effectively. But the smokes aren't going to make it easy. You're going to have to spot somebody else at some point. Spraying through the smoke is all you really can do, but the ultimate on the side of Viper is going to be committed to just lock down the point. But they're oh, still going to find huge. it. This could be massive. The Viper pit. He finds two of them now, knowing exactly where they are, thanks to his ultimate. More. One more is all they need. Taze finds Seth. It's a 3v2, but the Viper Pit is doing so much to keep them in this game. Giza jumping through. Taze is going to find him. Smiley is going to find Bolsi. 2v1. 1 HP on Taze, you're right. But if they're stepping in Viper's Pit, they're going to be 1 HP for a little bit too. In fact, there it is. Taze with the third kill. You got it. Finds them. Smiley is going to go for the defuse. Caillou is going to go for the defuse now. Taze on fake. Corner. Oh, he would have had it. He would have. He would have. He would have. But this round is going to be going to West Virginia. He's not going to have enough time to defuse. He's going to get the kill at the very least. 
pretty close. Oh, <laughs> didn't oh get okay. It. <laughs> didn't no, because it. it said clutch. I'm like, hold on, clutch. <laughs> I thought the bomb just went off, but it did, and it's the last round before the swap. Now, economy is not going to matter. Spend every penny you have and try your best to give yourself at least that one extra point for this potentially match point in this series. Yeah, West Virginia now winning three rounds in a row as Saints just kind of throwing away their lead. A couple rounds there that they should have for sure won. In that 2v1 against the Viper, just kind of have to play together, but mm -hmm. they did not. A nice little clutch there. As it's going to be Saints who definitely want to win this last round, take an A4 lead into the half on this defensive side. Definitely the stronger side on this map as well, I want to point out, as defense usually just being the stronger uh, side, of the, side of the game in Valorant. But it's going to be a full-on B push, it looks like, from the side of West Virginia. The dog comes out early. Seb's gonna shoot that one out. The blind does come through. Hits onto a couple at least. As Seb's gonna get out with his life. Very, very important. Does he not able to find the pick onto Dinks there? As Boltsy's gonna pick up the second. And Saints are dropping like flies. Kyle's able to find one, but does get traded out. As the Smiley gets taken down as well. It's gonna be all up to Giza in the 1v5. And it looks like West Virginia are gonna be able to come back and make this a 7 5 half. Unless Giza can pull off a miracle. We're able to find one, but won't pick up the second. Dinks with his third kill of the round. And just like last match, First half is 7-5 in the advantage of St. Clair Saints, but four rounds in a row there for West, Vir West Virginia. Definitely looking to make their way back into this game. Yeah, now with another pistol round confronting them, the Saints have to stare it down and here. swallow it just to make sure that they don't throw away yet another round. West Virginia University coming back from the brink of destruction, now only two rounds away from matching the Saints' score. But again, it's still anyone's game. The Saints can still run away with this pretty easily, but West Virginia as well can really surprise us here and steal this victory away from the Saints. Looks to be the case that the Saints are going to be trying to push for A side. Something I was going to suggest eventually for West Virginia University was I feel like they were playing a lot more comfortably when they kind of just rushed points down. Seems like the Saints are going to kind of adopt that strategy preemptively. Is they going to throw one body on B to potentially, oh, even finding the kill, potentially letting them know that they're going to be rotating to B. But instead, they're going to be committing their numbers and the spike over to A side, leaving the spike carrier just a little bit behind in case they do decide to go for a different spot. But rotation coming up mid from West Virginia's Viper, seeing if they can find any information on the back line. Not going to see anybody just yet, but this could be a very important member of this team in terms of getting information for them. Dinks oh. almost taking down Caillou, walking up the hill there. Like Jay Chronic, Smiley is going to find Dinks finally. Jay Chronic is going to take down Caillou. And it's going to be a satchel from Mingston. He's going to live on 20 HP, but his life could be worth so much more. He tastes. He's going to pick up Sif here. 3v3 situation. And on that side, that Astro is going to be able to pick up Mingston. Saints, 2v3 situation. Smiley will look to get out with his life. Both players just going up and down the ropes. Spike is with Smiley. If you can find this pick, will be massive. Ooh. There it is. Now the Saints can maybe make the way over towards that B site, and they will look to do so. Let's see if Giza can swing here and find an early pick. We'll be able to find it. Now it's 2v1, and J Chronic on very low HP. We'll find the one tap onto Giza. It's going to be all up to Smiley. J Chronic only half HP should take a couple bullets more to kill him. Smiley has to be very, very careful, expecting the opponent to come from heaven, but that does not seem to be the case. Smiley gonna be walking up very, very slowly as the breach looks to make his way to the side. The concuss is perfect from Smiley well as he finds his third kill of the round. And Saints so far have been perfect on the pistol rounds, four for four so far. Definitely something they have improved in the last week, it seems I'd like, as so. they're gonna look to snowball this lead again and close the game out just like last, last, last map. How do you think they kind of prepared their pistol rounds just going around death matches against each other? Just <laughs> I don't know. Pistols only? Who knows? But again, it's a lot more than just aim, especially in these pistol rounds, because you have to play the game so differently. You know, you don't necessarily have to worry about being cross mapped and someone one shotting you from a pixel away because you, no one's going to have an op. But you might have to worry about three guys running in a straight line at you through garage, and you have to worry about that in front of you. That's not something you see every day in a regular eco round for either team or um, abundant economy round for either team, but flashing through now, gonna make way for open. Caillou to bounce in. It is 
wide open. West Virginia realizing their mistake now and slowly sending the rest of their squad back over. Oh, Instinct. Instinct holding <laughs> the shotgun right in front. <laughs> Don't do it, Breach. Don't do it. Please. Do oh. it. Exactly. That's what I like to see. Caillou finding two after that. Three now. Four. And four to take this to a flawless round of Saints. Again, this is how a round technically is supposed to go if you win pistols. The Saints are doing a good job in demonstrating to us how powerful that can be. Yeah, Saints with a very, very simple round there. Well, obviously, when Caillou's finding four kills, it's going to be an easy round, but another flawless post pistol round. And it's going to look like another B push coming up from Saints. That time, West Virginia did go for that little strategy of just five stacking a site and just trying to find some picks, but just didn't work out for them there. Let's see how the Saints choose to approach this next round. If they can win this one, should be able to run away with the rest of the map. But it's going to be West Virginia who have the guns to compete. Let's see if the flash comes out from Caillou. Will be able to land onto anyone. They will find Inox, but he will take down Instinct very, very early on. It's a great first pick for West Virginia University. But Inox has no idea that there could be one right next to him. Seth's going to go down, though. And Smiley's going to go down as well. As Giza's not going to be able to pick up anything. And now it's going to be Saints in a one before Caillou. Definitely does not want to go that way. We'll go all the way around the map. But I'm not too sure if maybe saving this Bulldog might be the best idea. Uh, I mean, hey, a gun's a gun. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, but again, they, they are up in the advantage department from those previous rounds that they just won. So you might not care necessarily too much about saving that gun. The spike is being held down. I think he's just going to rotate slowly, see if he can find any picks to just really cripple the economy of West Virginia University. But ultimately, you're right. I think he's probably going to go be looking for a save. I mean, he's maybe looking for some crazy flank play here. Let's see if Caillou can really... Turn it up a notch here. Could find an early pick here, and it should be able to find it. Oh, trigger discipline. Let's see how he decides to play this one. Has to go one by one, won't even shoot. Will take down one. Now everyone knows exactly where he is, and he will go down to Jay Chronic. West Virginia 8, we get that one back and put themselves on six rounds. Now St. Clair will have those full buys, will need to be taking this round. And if they don't, West Virginia are right back in this game. And you do not want to be in that situation if you are on the side of the Saints. Again, this team was able to pull off some very stunning post-pistol round loss rounds. Uh, and it's it's a testament to how flexible and skilled they are as individual players. But when the, you have a group of talented individual players collaborating and forming a team, the thing that they're capable of is so much greater than the average match. And I think that we're being delivered that example here tonight in clear view. And it's going to be up to the ingenuity of the Saints to try to come up with an easy solution to the problem that West Virginia is facing them down with right now. Finding a whole load of kills. Three are going to go down on the side of uh, St. Clair College. Uh, but... I have retrieved it. Caillou's dead. Yeah, Caillou is dead. They're not going to be able to pick him back up. It's a 2v3 now. West Virginia University is going to be encroaching back over to A as the Saints finally get the plant. They're just going to have to be holding this down carefully now. They've got the camera as well. Instinct trying to get some information. is going to get distracted by the boom bond taken down by Taze. The dog isn't going to spot Giza, but spotting him doesn't mean you can kill him. Maybe he does as Dinks is going to take him down and take the, another round for West Virginia. And West Virginia now right back into this game. St. Clair College won't have any, th any money to buy weapons this round as West Virginia are going to look to make this a 9-8 game. Saints definitely letting this one slip away from them a little bit. Can't really see why though. Maybe playing a bit too aggressive in that first half and give we, giving yeah. West Virginia that confidence boost that they needed is really what was the spark plug for them as, you know, just a couple very, very interesting plays from the Saints. Something they will definitely look back at no matter what and say, guys, we can't be doing yeah. this against a team of the quality of West Virginia University. But let's see <laughs> no, no, no. how <laughs> this round uh, goes. Giza are going to have to find a pick here with the Sheriff to start things off and won't be able to do so just yet, but won't go down as well. Let's see if one more final swing comes through here. Will come out and dinks will be able to pick that one up. Sky Flash does come through, but Smiley only has a Stinger here. Should not go for this challenge. Picks up the Sheriff, could look for Ooh. a one-tap as he's holding a couple of players here uh, to 
keep attention to him. He has no idea oh, this one to his left. Look close. for the flick there, but Dinks is going to pick that one up. That's a couple early picks for the side of West Virginia as they look to snowball their way into this map. 2v4 situation now for Cyrus Sinclair. Instinct is in a great position here, but how much can he really he can get make done it work. with the shotgun? Inox is going to find a pick onto Seth. 1v5 Watch. with the buck. Oh. Almost finds one, but goes oh. down to Taze. It's a flawless round for West Virginia University. Yeah, that flawless used to belong to St. Clair College a long time ago, way back in my day. I think it was round, uh, I don't know, three. Yeah, ancient history at this point. But uh, St. Clair College was able to pull off some impressive flawlesses some in this series so far. Yeah. West Virginia now finding their own. Not sure this is the first one, but it definitely feels like it because it feels like for the first time in the series, West Virginia has complete control of the game and the Saints are looking for answers. The Saints are definitely going to be scrambling here. If they lose this round, it's panic mode for them as they're going to be falling behind in this second map after leading 7-1 at one point in the first half. The Ray's ult is coming out there. We'll be able to pick up one onto Smiley, but the trade comes through. The Cypher ult comes out as well from Giza. Inkstein's going to look to make his way across. He is able to do so. Cypher ult blinks again, and now Saints know that they have a man advantage on this A site. Let's see how quickly they decide to play this one. Jake Cron is going to find one. Will get taken down by Kai, though. Great trades here coming out from the Saints. It's going to be just Sky and backside here will get wall banged for a headshot but won't go down just yet as the saints are have to find this oh, pick but so Inox close. is gonna pick it up as the trades come through though Caillou with his third has to be clutch 1v1. here in the 1v1 though Tay is able to find a pick but on low HP one more bullet should take down that Viper let's see how Caillou decides to play this one it's no not gonna be able to way. find it there and West Virginia University yet again on 30 HP able to find a clutch as they make this a 9-9 game uncharacteristic there of Kai usually very comfortable in the situations I really thought that he like I that's that's the proof of the quantum theory right there because I lived in a universe where he got that kill and I got sucked into the one where West Virginia took it uh, that was I really thought he took that one there but gonna be brought back to reality as we're staring down a 9-9 against West Virginia University the Saints are not gonna be looking at a good spot money or gun wise gonna be doing an eco round cheap buys all around but they're gonna have to try to make something work here because they can't just let West Virginia walk all over them yeah, without a doubt, the CL Saints decide to play this next round. They're definitely in a bit of panic mode, but Seth is in a, such a great position Ooh. here. Just not finding the right timing there. As there's an Astro that's on the flank. But Saints kind of trying to take control of this B-side. Instinct's gonna fly in here. One HP on this breach. The nade will come through. Has to be careful. Nice little nade there. That's one pick by Caillou onto Jay Chronic, but Boltsy will find the trade onto Caillou. Plant is going down. That's two for two now. 3v3 situation now for both teams. Stinger here on Smiley will take down that Cucumber, but the push is coming through from both sides. Instinct has to be very, very uh -oh. careful. <laughs> Just running with the boom bot out. Does get taken down, but Smiley Smiley's gonna be take, able to take down Boltz. He picks up a Phantom. He's uh, gonna pop his ultimate. Huge knock up there. Ooh. Ooh, nice little flick there with two bullets as well. He's able to pick that kill up. And he's gonna make his way over to that A side as Saints are looking for the thrifty. Now the plant should go down soon. And Saints in this 2v1 situation should definitely be able to clutch this one up. It was like it was like clay left. pigeon shooting. It's like he went to a gun range. They shot the disc out, flying through the air. Spike boom! Point. One clean <laughs> shot to take it down. And the Saints are showing just how impressive they really can be if they want to on these very important rounds. Taking it from an eco round to being a clean 2v1 <laughs> in their favor. Going to go for the stun there just to deter the push a little bit. Rotate around this pillar. Giza in kind. Going to be watching the angle that would be making it nice, damn near impossible to take it. And the Saints are going to get this round. Smiley taking it off with a 3k. Saints are three rounds away from taking this serious, but West Virginia, only four, is still very close so far. Very, very close. And West Virginia, able to string a lot of rounds together, will still be able to afford those full buys even after a thrifty by St. Clair College. But the Saints definitely turned it up a notch in that round. They said, guys, we have to focus up and close this game out as they're able to take this one. Full buys for both teams. and. 
a crucial, crucial round here. Three ultimates right for the side of West Virginia. St. Clair sitting on two ultimates of their own. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Viper ult's gonna come out in mid. Razolt comes out, but let's see if he has any idea where the Viper is. Does. It's gonna be a one for one trade, but that's gonna make a lot of space for the side of the Saints as they look to make their way onto this B side. The KO ultimate is very, very good as well. But the Breach ult look to come out Ooh. there. The KO's able to suppress that one one more time. The plant's not gonna come through. Won't be able to get it down in time. Does get stunned up, but it's gonna stay alive as the picks come through from the Saints. Dinx is going to be able to get one back. Spike is down, but the raise is on site. Does go down as the final player is Jay Chronic on this beach. Is going to be able to find one, but the rest of the Saints know exactly where he is. 2v1 situation. Saints are going to look to get this plant down and win in the 2v1. The swing will come through. Caillou is going to be able to find the trade as Saints go up 11-9 and win two crucial rounds back to back. Strength in numbers always bring a buddy, and that's exactly why, because even if you die, your buddy can be there to avenge you. Again, that's how we're going to see the Saints wrapping up that last round. And again, two more for them to take the series. Feels like they've kind of refocused. They stopped letting the game get away from them. And it's working out very well in their favor. As as we last looked at them, they were kind of struggling for a penny. But here, they're looking to be much in the favor. If West Virginia loses this round, they are very likely to lose the series as they're not going to have much money to work out with in the next. But it's all ifs and possibilities. Possibilities. Now we're faced with reality as this round is underway. Saints are going to be making a mid push to suppress there. Whether or not they're going to get the follow up is going to be seen, and they're not going to find anything off of it just yet. But Instinct turning around where he really needed to, but he's going to go down eventually. Saints are going to find the revenge kills of those two holding back um, behind them there. Uh, but spraying down through the smoke, they're going to be rotating, hey. trying to find over to a site. And oh, from behind, Giza still alive. Not exactly sure how he was able to get out of that situation, but I'm sure he should write a book about that experience. Quite a unique one for sure. Caillou is going to go down with the nade in hand. Not going to go out just yet. Inox with an eagle eye. Oh gonna my find Giza goodness. hopping around the corner and getting a clean tap with the Guardian. Spike is planted, but it's a 2v3. The Saints are in trouble as Inox finds Seth. Not going to be able to hold his composure and get the kill where he needed it. They're going to be able to rush him down. Again, strength in numbers. So even if they need to sacrifice one of them to get this easily, they might just go for it. But the stun's going to find Taze, but he's not going to get around that corner in time to find cover. He is going to ultimately go down. And now we're looking 11 to 10 in this series. Going to even give the defuse over. So get some more points for, towards those uh, Seekers. Uh, I want that ultimate as soon as possible. I mean, Inox was just able to clutch that one up for West Virginia. Saints had the numbers advantage. They had the 4v3 early, but decided to take the one-on-one -on -one challenges for some reason. And just right. as we saw last round, they used their numbers amazingly to win that one. This time, just kind of falling apart. Not something you'd expect to see from a team like the Saints, but... They are still ahead. They're able to afford somewhat of a buy. Seth only has that Stinger, but on the other side, Boltsy only is able to buy up the Spectre, and Dinks is buying that Bolt. You can see both teams forcing up absolutely everything. Every single round matters so, so much. Inks is going to take the first damage of the round. KO Knife won't find anything. The Saints definitely looking to take mid control here. Boombot is going to come out. Boltsy trying to hold down B all on their lonesome. But Taze is going to find Instinct with the first pick of the round. Tragic start to the round for the side of the Saints. They don't really have their entry anymore. That raise is fallen. And West Virginia doing a great job so far on this defense. Able to find the right kills at the right time. Giza's going to go for the swing here. Oh, Won't be able to oh, find oh, the shots. Oh, no. as All the kills for West Virginia are coming out. And they're going to look to take the tie game here. As it's going to be all on Smiley in a 1v4. Five situation. Saints are just dropping like flies as West Virginia have definitely found something. The flawless round comes through yet again and I believe Saints now are forced to a buy so they're gonna be have to be looking for a thrifty here and if they don't yep. find that they're gonna be looking to send it to overtime. And that's what I didn't get to uh, kind of mention in that previous round there because I was gonna say whoever wins this round is gonna be extremely favored to win the next. Right Both there. teams are kind of hanging by a thread economically and now the Saints are kind of paying the price for it nothing but sheriffs in their arsenal and if they lose this one that's going to put West Virginia on game point which means that no matter what it's either they lose or go to overtime so the Saints are looking 
to find everything they can within themselves to take this next round because a lot of us are going to be riding on this one and they're going to be their play is going to reflect that they're playing a little bit more consciously carefully using smokes a little bit better they are going to get a lot of valuable information there with that dog and some rotations are already going to be coming out from west virginia university bringing over the breach to try to get the flank picks but instinct almost finding the raise inox is going to take down giza dinks is going to take down smiley now it's already looking very bleak for the saints as they're trying to find any kind of trades, any kind of pickoffs, they're not going to get it. Jay Chronic going to take down Instinct and another flawless for West Virginia University. Forget overtime, they might just win this series outright as the Saints don't have a lot of money to work with here. They're going to be forced buying. This is all they have left within them. They're either sending this again to an overtime or this is going to be it here for West Virginia University. They could take this next round very easily as long as they play their card right and the Saints aren't able to find a solution to the pressure. And it's going to be a five-man rush with that KO Walt on this A site. We have to see if that uh, Astra is able to get her ult down in time and maybe build a bit of, a bit of a wall for West Virginia. But let's see how this round's going to play out here. Assuming the KO Walt will come out in just a few seconds. And there it is. Nobody from side of West Virginia can use any abilities, but Saints are just sprinting onto that site and they have full side control for free. Basically, all members from West Virginia are sitting up in heaven and Saints going to be very, very happy with the start to this round. Smiley's going to go for the peak there. Will be able to stay alive, but Inox will use his dog here. That has no idea that Instinct is in this corner. The Breach ult is coming out from the side of the Saints, and Seth is going to be able to find the first pick of the oh. round here. Instinct's going to have to find this kill here. No but we'll go down way. to Inox, but the trades are there for the Saints. 4v1 situation. Caillou no. going down to that Viper smoke, but it shouldn't matter in this the end. Doable. Saints still have a 3v1 situation. Taze jumping out with that shorty. Saints are going to be able to take this one, and we are going to overtime in this map too. I would like to formally rescind my previous statement where I said this is doable because I did not know the Viper had a shorty there. Uh, if I knew this Viper had a shorty, probably wouldn't have said that. <laughs> that was not doable in any way, shape, or form there. Uh, but again, Saints just showing how ability usage can definitely determine the tide of battle here. Both teams fighting tooth and nail for this next round. It's all coming down to this, and they want nothing more than to claim this game for themselves here. Uh, Instinct, that play around that corner there, he was <laughs> something about Inox's spidey senses or tingling, telling him that the, there was a threat nearby. You know, he got a, it's like a guard in a stealth game. His like exclamation mark was turning red. He just felt something going wrong. So he, he played that one a little bit more carefully and it worked out for him along and get that exchange onto Instinct. But as we're heading into this overtime here, uh, it's, it's gonna be scary for both teams. Yeah, Saints are on the defense as West Virginia are right playing there. the attack very, very slowly. And you know, finally the Saints have calmed down. They're not getting into the backline of West Virginia. This is the way to play it. Every single kill matters in these rounds. It's first to win two rounds in a row takes the overtime. Let's see how the Saints play this one. Dink's going to be walking up a lot, but Saints are just holding their ground and as they should. No reason to peek anything as Instinct getting a little bit ADHD there. <laughs> wants to go around that corner, but does not have to. Smiley is going to go for oh, the peek. Oh. Is able to spot out one as Inkstein's going to pick up the first okay. and Smiley's going to pick up the second. A great start to this overtime for the side of the Saints. They have the spike down as well in the spawn of West Virginia. The peek's going to come through there from Boltsy, but he will not get stunned up. Kai is going to go for the swing. Will be able to find one. Boltsy does find the trade, but every kill is good for the Saints right now. Another one-for-one one trade as now they have a 3v1 situation seconds, with the spike down. Taze has somehow gotten into the spawn of St. Clair, but he will not have enough time to go to spawn, pick up that spike and plant it. So if Saints are just able to stay alive, they will put themselves on match point. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Instinct's able to hear him as the Viper's full sprinting. Knows that needs to go quickly to win this round. Instinct's gonna uh, <laughs> mess up the grenade a little bit. Gonna go for the shots here. Will be able to pick so it up as the Saints are gonna put themselves on match point with a very, very well played defense. Around. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like it's always either Taze or Inox left on uh, West Virginia University. Just something I'm noticing here. But in any case, the Saints were able to clean that up pretty convincingly. Feels like they found their stride. But whether or not uh, West Virginia University is going to be able to trip them up and force them to fall over completely, breaking and ruining that stride, they only have one more round left to do so. So if they're going to do it, it's got to be here and now. So we might be going into the final round of the 
this series. Let's see what both teams have in store for us. It's going to be an A push coming out from the Saints. It's going to be Inox, who has been kind of the entry fragger for West Virginia, finding early picks over and over. Let's see how he's going to be decided to play this one. Inks oh, is going to wow. find him on to one. Inox is going to be able to pick him up. The trade will not come through just yet, but finally should be going down. Smiley going to look for the flash again. Will push through it. Wow. Finally, Inox does go down. The Saints look to get onto that A side. Smiley is on this A side. Will throw out that nade, and the plant should be coming down momentarily. Smiley, one more kill off that breach ultimate. Could be a round swinger, but the plant does come out. Saints have a number of advantages here with their side players. This one, Seth, has to be careful there. Does spot out one. Oh, no. Taze picks up Caillou, so 3v3 now. Seth gonna be forced <laughs> to TP out. And has his back covered by his teammate, but not enough as Smiley falls down alongside Seth. Boltsy with a double kill there. Some miffs shots there from Smiley as Giza's gonna be able to find one in a 1v2 situation. Has no idea where the enemies are, and West Virginia are gonna be able to pick that one up and send this game to extended overtime rounds. Wow, that was that was just a very scary round for both teams. There, uh, a lot could have gone wrong for both sides. I, I I'm just still shocked by Overtime. instinct, able to kind of turn. He was getting shot from the side and slowly turned this thing over and kind of, or he flicked it very fast, but then kind of slowly recentered it. It was like a quick time event. It's very, very smooth how that played out. Uh, I, I could watch that happen over and over again. And then again, uh, just how he almost went down again, finding these very critical kills. But again, double overtime, first team to win two in a row, two in a row will take this game. And if Saints win this, they take the match. But it's still, <laughs> I say this a lot, but it's true because this is anybody's game here. It's literally 13-13. We're in our second overtime. Both teams have demonstrated the caliber, uh, that they are of the caliber of team that can take a series here, but Dinks now getting confident. Flash is coming through and a stun. You don't want to be instinct right now, but nobody's going to be coming for him. Nobody's going to be breaking down that door. They're in fact looking to be rotating potentially. They recognize that here is just a little bit too risky for their tastes. They want to go somewhere else or at least just delay things a little bit more. Instinct on heaven sees Inox and the bullets are going to go flying, but none are going to land. Instinct still comfortable where he is right now. It's just going to be West Virginia now rotating over to potentially the A site, but there's so much stuff there waiting for them, including people. Yeah, including a, at least a couple members from the Saints, but the Saints also have three members on that B site, so they're going to have to rotate over quickly. Let's see how quickly West Virginia are going to be able to break in here. They do still have this Viper wall up here, so that's going to be a huge, huge point left. of attack for them. I think Saints should be getting a little bit of a feeling that West Virginia are going towards this A side. As you can see, all the rotates are coming over. They were all spotted out, I believe, on a Cypher camera. As Dinks is just going to fly in here, playing very recklessly on this race, but will be able to stay alive. Giza's going to be able to find the opening pick, and only 12 seconds left. Giza going to find a second, find a third, looking for the fourth with the pistol. Smiley and Inksing are going to help clean that up. Saints defensively being flawless. Let's see what they can do on this attack. I'm, I'm very eager to see what they're going to do on the attack after a round that cleanly executed. Uh, I feel like the way that they're able to recognize these states uh, changing on the flip of a dime, like they, they, they recognize the state of the game so well, so cleanly. And I love seeing how they kind of just completely switch up their game plan to match the the momentum that the enemy team is bringing. And again, now they're going to be the ones bringing the momentum. And after a round like that, you must have a Come lot in store. The They're going to be waiting in garage them. Giza has to just go and try to peek eventually here. But it's not going to go his way. Inox waiting for him. Maybe even peeking himself, getting a wall bank to headshot him down. And now they know that they don't want to be going over here. Dog, in fact, even going to spot the fact that nobody is left. Saints are already kicking it over to A. They know that B is not the way to go. But West Virginia might not have gotten the memo yet. Still holding two, three people there. They even see that nobody's home. Nobody's here. The Saints are already on their way to A site. One holding on mid, but Taze is going to stop Caillou down. That's going to be rotations now coming out. Boltsy is going to stop Smiley. Spike is going to go down. It's a 2v5 for the Saints here. They are down three of their members, but they still have to try anything they can to get themselves back in. Instinct and Seth both going to find a mark. 
almost finding an insane turnaround kill. Seth could have brought this game really close in their hands, but now it's just instinct. Full HP, full armor still, but in between two enemies, it's a scary situation to be in, but waiting for one of them around the corner, oh! finding the second. Now it's a 1v1, oh. almost a 1v0. He does have the ultimate, but I don't know if you want to be using it here. I think you want that longer range, but it is still something you have. He has a spike. Oh, it's good post bant though. Yeah, he has. To. Oh, you're absolutely right. He can just wait behind the corner, but can he get down? He does. Yep. Now he just has to go for the perfect time. Wait, just wait. Find the information, and there he gets it. Rocket Fuse gonna be in hand. He just has to find the opportunity. He doesn't know where he is, and I think he recognizes. <laughs> oh, no! there he finds it with the rocket. He's gonna take this a four kill clutch victory. The game even agrees, calling it a clutch itself. And that's gonna be the St. Clair Saints taking the victory over West Virginia University in a, a fireworks of a conclusion. I don't think you could have made it more exciting. Without it, that smiley top fragging on that breach and Saints able to pick that Ooh. one up. Such a great clutch from Minx in there at the end, getting that uh, 1v4 clutch. And <laughs> they're going to be very, very happy with the ending of that. But still not the cleanest game from the Saints. The victory does come through. The 2-0 does come through. It was 13-6, 15-13. A very, very lengthy map too. But they're going to be able to take that one down. And they're going to be victorious on the day. Yeah, again, uh, scoreboards don't tell you the whole story, and neither does a score line. A 2-0 can tell you a lot of things, but it won't tell you just how hard fought that second map was. West Virginia University showing exactly what they're made of in this series, showing that they are not to be taken lightly, and the Saints are ultimately going to triumph in the end, but they have to fight every second to get it. Without a doubt, and Saints stay flawless on the season. Mm -hmm. Going to look to continue their very, very good run in this nice Valorant uh, Varsity Premier League in the highest league possible. Doing so, so good. But that's going to be it for us today. Let's start wrapping it out. Thank you to our yeah. sponsors. We have HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, the St. Clair Alumni, and the St. Clair SRC Association. Thank you to everyone in the back who was here today. Who was here today? You Tommy, you know Patrick, and TJ there were we in the back supporting us, making sure things all went right. And tomorrow, be sure to join us because I believe we have Fortnite and I believe TFT yeah. action lined up for you in another game day. But that is social the future. Media. The social media, of course, you always <laughs> want to follow social media. I didn't mention it because you already know to follow our social media because you don't want to miss anything. We're on basically every platform you can imagine. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. We're there posting content for you to enjoy on a daily basis. But that's this match was the past. Tomorrow is the future. But in the present, I want to wish you all a great night. And thank you for spending your time with us today. Hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care.